Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Here's one of my favorites. It's a Dual 1009. Uh, it's been sitting around and uh, does, the motor doesn't turn. It seems to be frozen. And what I'm going to do is a video on how to repair just the motor on this and get it unstuck. And hopefully that will get it to spin again and we'll be back in luck with this uh, Dual 1009. Now, uh, basically what we have to do is remove the platter. I've already taken out the, um, the clip, the C-clip, and put it aside. That's under here. We have to take this platter off. Okay. Put it aside. And there are three screws here. One, two, and one under the idler wheel to remove the motor. So to do that, we have to take the idler off. I won't show you that step. It's very easy. Just pop that little plastic... Uh, retainer out and it slides right out and take these screws out I uh, take these nuts out and then turn the turntable over and we have to remove this cap and take the wires out I'll show you that later on it's a difficult and time-consuming getting the motor apart I will show you the important steps but we'll edit out some of the uh, other steps for time's sake. Some motors may be easy and some motors may be extremely difficult uh, to take apart. I wish you luck. This one was very difficult. You have to remove this cap and take these wires out. So we'll do that first. I'm going to show you a lot of these things without actually doing some of the steps. And here are the wires. Make sure when you disconnect them. These are soldered on. Some of them are, are pinned on, but um, just remember where they go. Take a picture of it and remember where they go. Okay, so we've removed the cover and we've taken these wires out. And now what we're going to do is turn the motor over and uh, turn it over and release the motor from the inside. And to do that, we have these little screws here. This, this uh, idler wheel has to be removed first, of course. I'm just doing this quickly so we don't have to waste too much time watching all these steps go through. And uh, I already loosened these nuts so they could come off very quickly for the video. Put these aside. And then let the turntable up and there's your motor hanging out. Alright, so now this is stuck. It doesn't turn. We have to remove this. And to do that, we'll get a little screwdriver. And we'll start removing that screw, this screw right here. Okay, so after loosening this screw, I had to take a screwdriver from down here and push up on it to remove this. It was a little bit stuck, but I just pushed up, I levered it up a little bit, and we'll put this aside also. And um, then we're going to remove these screws. So like I said before, we take this hammer. It took a while. Uh, I did most of it off camera, but tap on it very lightly, just very lightly, and eventually it will come apart. And this is what we have. And now you want to pull this out. Sometimes if, if it's really stuck, it might not come out that easy. But just pull on it gently and it comes out. Um, clean it off a little bit with a, some alcohol, possibly, or even DW40 if you want to use that. And then clean out the inside, too. Get a little paper towel. Clean it out from the inside. Make sure there's no gunk in there. This one looks pretty good, although it was stuck. And take some of this hub oil. Uh, I guess you can use three in one, whatever you like to use. And put a couple of drops in there. Okay. And put some on here a little bit. Make sure that it's pretty well lubricated. Let me do that again. Make sure I get a good amount in there. Okay. Put it back in. And it should spin pretty freely, which it probably didn't do before as well as it is now. And now we're going to put it together. We have to make sure that we line up. Everything properly. These two holes have to match up with these two holes here. Make sure you do that before you even 
do anything because otherwise you could be in some real problems you have to bang it off again and um, put this thing on sometimes just pressing it together by hand should do it if not when you get the screws start putting the screws in and it'll tighten up pretty much by itself make sure it goes on nice and even all right I'll do the rest of the assembly I'll put these screws in here and tighten them up they're going in pretty easily and make sure that they come through the holes because that's what you want and take the washers put the washer back on there and this screw Just taking a little screwdriver and getting this started here to get it right through the hole. Let's come to the hole. And, uh, okay, we have a little washer here. Put that on. the other washer it's around here somewhere there we go make sure it's coming through first okay it's not press it in a little bit more Squeezing it by hand seems to be doing it okay. But I just might tap it a little bit with my hammer. Just nice and easy, not too hard. screwdriver okay all right looks pretty good pretty nice and even it's a good idea to make sure you get these nice and tight and you can see that this is spinning nicely put this back on there we go tighten up that screw And that's pretty much it. It seems to be spinning nice and smoothly and, and seems to be uh, okay. Now what I'll do is I'll <clears throat> skip to the end instead of uh, showing you how I reassemble it. But basically you put it back in here, connect the wires, put the plastic cap back on, and put the uh, idler wheel back in here. And it should be set to go. Let's keep our fingers crossed and I'll see you on the other side after I get this all back together again. So instead of actually having to replace the motor, <clears throat> take the motor part, which is not as easy as it looks on this video. Believe me, I, I edited out a lot of the, uh, the problems of getting the uh, motor apart. And let's see what happens. Yeah, it's working. Okay. There you go. Now I'll put the rest of the turntable together and we'll see if the speeds are working well. The motor is turning as it should be on, on the proper speeds. There it goes. And to avoid copyright, I won't play a record on it, but um, there's the 1090, 10, this is a 1009, I'm sorry, this is a 1009. 
and uh, it's the same fix for most of the 1000 series um, motors and you notice this one shuts off all by itself and yes all the motor all the speeds are working fine I did test it with a record uh, although for uh, <clears throat> copyright I decided not to uh, put that part of the video on here and there's a nice quick fix for the uh, 1009 motor remember to uh, subscribe and like this video and check out some of my other videos. Okay, see you on the next time. Good luck getting your 1009 back in shape.